Cool. On to the next thing here. Let's talk about tripods. Um, so tripods we introduced quite a long time ago. Um, we didn't have as much content as we want to, so we're coming back to address that. But we're also addressing a big feedback that we've, you know, we've heard very loud and clear over and over again, which is that the UI for it sucks. Um, so now tripods uh, have a new user interface, and the, one of the biggest changes here is that uh, players can now they will no longer press E to accidentally pack up. <laughs> a a uh, tripod weapon. Now there's a dedicated UI and there's an action button where you do that. And Max, you want to talk about you want to talk about the ammo a bit? Yeah, sure. So yeah, the big the big change that we know everybody has been asking for is that press E to dismantle thing. Everybody makes the mistake of walking up to a to a tripod and pressing E to dismantle. But the the big change that we really wanted to address here is um, the tripods were in the past, they tended to be operated by a single user. It was we noticed a lot of players were even bringing their own tripod, and then running back and bringing the new the weapon forward. And we feel like a big part of that reason was because you had to have the ammo in your inventory in order to use it. So even if you set up the weapon, uh, you wouldn't. And, and like if you set up the weapon and then died, then the next guy who wanted to come around and use it would have to rifle through all the bodies uh, and then try to find your ammo and so that they could use it. And then it was this whole thing about, you know, like that's my that's my tripod and it was just a, a complete mess. What we want tripods to be is more of a communal weapon. Somebody sets them up and then multiple people can use them. So we gave them an inventory uh, that you can place the ammo in. So there might be soldiers, we hope, that will move around and, and set these positions up. And then again... Now you can dismantle them more deliberately so that somebody doesn't accidentally come along and <laughs> take it down. How come we're putting rockets into a tripod ammunition? <laughs> well, you can talk about that now, Julian. <laughs> so we have some old, as in we showed them off once and never added them, like the machine gun. We have some new weapons to show off. Uh, the first one being the colonial heavy machine gun. Uh, it's exactly what you think it is, a heavy machine gun. Um, it has a giant ammo drum um, or ammo capacity on it. And you can, you can literally fire this thing for like a minute or two minutes or somewhere around there, um, which is great. Um, but the wardens also need something. And if you can switch to the next one, they are also getting their own heavy machine gun, um, which they're other like the, the stat differences between the two different machine guns. Um, that we the two different light machine guns and medium machine guns this will be similar they will have different stats on them different damage and ammo and rate of fire um but both factions will finally finally be getting their tripod <laughs> heavy <laughs> machine gun um cool. yep and in addition to that the yeah the colonials are also getting their anti-tank rifle which will be a tripod mounted um anti-tank rifle that uh it has a higher rate of fire um and i'm not sure about the range difference if there is one but regardless they finally have one um it sounds great when you're playing with it in game but we now have a rocket launcher a very unique rocket launcher for the wardens um that it's pretty obvious what it does it's got two barrels on it um you can reload it twice uh, uh, you can load up to two rockets into it and fire them in succession. Um, and yeah, uh, it's pretty unique and pretty damn cool. Um, so I'm seeing a lot of word and bias calls in the, in the chat and it's obvious from my shirt that this is why we yeah. added this weapon in because, uh, <laughs> yeah. totally worn and bias. Um, Sorry, Julian, did you have anything no, else? No, no. <laughs> I was, I was going to ramble on with there's a, uh, another surprise about tripods that is no one is going to expect, uh, expect that we're about to show off. Yeah, so um, to talk about that first, there's, there's two things that people have asked for, not necessarily for uh, half tracks, um, but one is they've asked us for some kind of a modular system for vehicles when we announced the uh, um, arms race update. And the second thing is they've asked for um, an infantry infantry carrier type of feature for the half track. So um, excited to say 
that we're actually adding both at the same time in this update or both factions, right? Um, so half tracks, each faction is going to get a modular half track and you can attach on the field any tripod weapon. So essentially you get like three different half track variations. If you include the other faction, each faction gets six. Um, and at the same time, Julian, do you want to talk about the seats? Oh yeah, the seats. This is funny. There was a community post where you guys mocked up this exact like four seat back half track, but we'd already been working on this for like a month or two before that, and we were. I was very entertained that you guys were going to um, uh, assume we took your suggestion, but we had decided to make the half track effective. Th sorry, this will replace the default machine gun half tracks, um, and we decided to go ahead with making them a tripod mount when we knew we were finally going to be adding the heavy machine guns into the game. This particular, like these half tracks that were, I was super excited to work on them and to get like to pitch the idea. And I think Mark had the idea for the tripod mount on it. Um, Actually, um, let me correct your story a bit. Cause I think it was you, Julian, this, this was your idea. Originally you pitched this, you pitched this to me. <laughs> I, it's been a while. Yep. I don't know how many months yep. ago was it. Um, this was this was totally your idea, and you're like, "Hey, this is the, you know, I know this is crazy, and I know I'm school creeping here, and we got a lot of work to do, <laughs> but I think this would be such an amazing feature for the half tracks." And then, and then I think we talked to Max, and then we we're like, "Oh, okay, I guess <laughs> this is a lot of work, but um, yeah." Uh, it's worth noting that if you're, say you're a warden and you find a colonial tripod. Sorry, oh, yeah. Julian, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm actually going to start the video oh, so yeah, that yeah, yeah. take up as much yep, time, but yep. you can keep talking. I'm just going to change the thing. Oh, yeah, from we, ha we have video of all of the guns and the half tracks and stuff. Um, although I know the, we had video of the machine gun a while ago and, uh, we figure you guys are a bit. Uh, concerned that the machine guns still won't end up in the game, but they will. <laughs> They're here. Um, so if you have a, say you're a warden, you have a warden half track and you come across a colonial tripod gun, you can steal it and put it on your own warden half track and vice versa. So they're all like, it's all universal. Whatever, um, whatever can go on the tripod can go on either of the half tracks. Um, and I think that this is now that the system is in place, there's a lot of exciting potential applications in the future of Foxhole for where else we can put mounts for yep. tripod. I love how useful the cinematic camera is for taking these videos. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's funny, Max, because I used to have to make custom changes in the code just to make this work. <laughs> and now it's just there, right? It's great. <laughs> Yeah, forget forget all the new assets we're showing off. Just, this is all about the camera, right? Yeah, we also so we so the original half tracks that had the MGs on them no longer exist, by the way. So they've been replaced by these models. And the two unique half tracks, the um, anti tank and mortar half tracks, they're staying the same. So they're they're going to be exactly the same as they are now. The the altered gun will be the trade off for the seats in the back and. Um, you have these now, so they're freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, the both, there's two colonial half tracks. There's the armored and the unarmored version, which is this one. And both of them have this um, tripod attachment. So you don't have to worry about that. It's funny out of all of these changes, this was the part that blew my mind the most was like placing it on the half track. Yeah. Yep. So I'm like, I just see yeah. potential with that. There's so many things we could do with that. Not that we would, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so you oh, can swap them out anytime that you want. So, you know, you can just change it out on the field. If you have a half track and you have a different, I think that's the coolest thing is that you could bring a half track up to the front and depending on what's in the stockpile, you can like literally change your vehicle on the fly, which is really cool to me. Yeah, that, sorry, that's what I was going to say that you, they're swappable um, at any point. Um, yeah. Chat wants to know about listening kit half tracks. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that um, does not work, right? So, uh, oh. 
I actually hadn't even thought about that yet, but that's hilarious. That does open the opportunity, though, to make it custom, like, radar equipment for half-tracks in the future, if we ever want to. 